Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at some of, of the gear that you might need for airsoft, paintball, or anything like that. Um, I'm going to start my webbing pretty much. Uh, this is a Plate Attack Medium Armor Carrier, or MAC for short. Um, all the pouches can be bought off Plate Attack. Uh, very good site, guys. Highly recommend them. Very good products. Alright, let's get into it. Um, We'll start with the vest itself, it's all molly, completely all the way around. It allows for great customability, so you can um, put pretty much anything on it. Um, yeah. At the moment I've got two mag pouches, these can each fit two M4 mags or two F88 Ostai mags. I've got my medical pouch, I've got two utility pouches, one for my um, food, the other one for any other mission essential equipment. On the back, I've got my hydration bladder with a three litre camel pack inside it. Right now, we'll go more into the vest itself. Basically, you got your two quick release clips here. You need to get it off quickly. Never really needed that in airsoft or paintball, but it's just good to have there. Uh, the entire inside of the vest, you probably can't see it, but it's all cool max, so it allows you lots of airflow within the body. Within between your body and the vest, so you're not heating up, especially good for those hot environments. Um, the vest came in three pieces you have the front piece, the back molly piece, and the side beak, which is like a big belt, wraps all the way around. Right, um, the side bit keeps it pretty snug on your body, so it's not wobbling around or anything. Um, in both the front and the back beats, we have Lots for your armor plating, so your Kevlar or your hard armor, your soft armor plates or your hard armor plates, whatever you prefer for your military guys. Um, the side also has in, has them on the sides of your hips, so you're not getting anything there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You got there's a whole ton of accessories on Flat Attack for this. You have extra padding for your um your um these shoulder straps, which you will need, even these ones are starting to give out on me, they're getting to look really hard. Probably good, probably very um, advisable to get um, the shoulder pads. Uh, yeah, that's pretty Okay, cool. now I'm going to go into more of why I have these pouches and why I have them where they are on the vest. We'll start off with the ammunition pouches. Uh, I have these on my non-firing side, so when I'm holding my weapon, my non-firing hand can drop straight down and hold, grab a magazine. Um, these pouches are excellent. They hold two mags. You can either have it like that, so you can have one, two mags in there, and easy access, or you can have it over the top, laying no dirt to get in. Right, I have both of them on that side, purely because that's easier. It feels more natural to drop my hand straight there, grab a magazine, and whack another one in the gun. Um, we'll go on to the medical pouch. I have this on my front because Basically, if I need to get to it quickly, that's where I know it, it will do. So, if I need to grab it quickly, it's right on the front, I don't have to feel it around my vest to get it on, get it all out. Um, this one is a really good pouch. It's my admin pouch. Basically, I have everything in it from pens, notebooks, pocket knives to compasses, anything that an officer or an NCO might need in the field, or really any soldier. So write down mission essential equipment and stuff like that. Write down anything you need, change of objectives, stuff like that. Um, go on to this, I believe it's, a, it's an accessories pouch. Um, very good, I have this here because it's, I don't really need to get into it all the time, so it's on my side, e easily out of the way. It's perfect fit for under the arm, so it's not making you feel uncomfortable. Um, yeah. That's perfect for any mission and essential equipment that don't need a pack, so your face paint or any pocket knives even, um, your flashlights, stuff like that. Alright, this one is my MRE pouch for my ration packs. It can fit a full 24 hour ration pack inside of it. Um, as you can see, all of these pouches have full molly all the way around them, so you can put pouches on top of them if you really need to. On to the hydration bladder. Not much here. If say if you don't really want to carry your hydration bladder or you want to put it in, in your backpack, this thing can actually go as a backpack if you want it to. 
I can put my raincoat in here even, I can put anything that's too big to go in any other pouch in here. If I want to just carry my hydration bladder in a detachable backpack that I don't need to carry around the entire time. Right, um, the vest has also got an inbuilt map pouch where I keep my maps of the battlefields or anything like that or any area going bushwalking. So yeah, pretty good map pouch there. Um, that's about it for the pouches. I'll just go into some general tips with your um, with the vest with, uh, itself. With any zippers, I put um, electrical tape around the zipper so you're not having that metallic clanking sound when you're running around. I've done it on all my zippers so they're not, none of them are doing it. Um, I try to keep my zippers, besides for this video, inside the, um, the strip around the, the zipper. That keeps them from even clanging around if they do need to make noise. Um, yeah, all the zippers, all, all my zippers have that. It's just crucial, otherwise the enemy's going to hear you, uh, whoever you're playing against is going to hear you moving around. It's just not good. Um, on the field, if you'd want to be stealthy, I would keep these like that, so you're not having to constantly rip your Velcro. Uh, make sure all these pouches have internal elastic um, straps that keep your gear from wobbling around and crap. So it's not making noise just like the zippers. Right, just another thing for any of you um, Milsim players, you might want to have some of these cable ties. Excellent, they fit right in with the molly straps and they're good to use as flexi cuffs or to put down um, any tiny thing to your vest even. So yeah, keep some of those on you. Um, just another thing on these pouches here, in case you're like not doing too much um, if you're just going bushwalking or something, or you don't think you're going to need that much ammo, they are perfect size for one of these radios. All right? Just a normal handheld CB radio. They will fit perfectly in there, and it allows really easy access. So if you need to talk on it, you just grab it straight out. All right? And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, my next video will probably be on a different types of uniforms to wear. Um, look forward to seeing you soon.